all right guys so both both the seats out um now um i'm gonna be taking out this carpet so the best thing is to remove this uh center console but i just removed the screw over there so i'm trying to just leave the center console in place right now but i want to remove this carpeting and it actually goes from this side to the other side uh, and i want to take it out clean everything um possibly paint it with fabric paint or something you know uh, it's a little faded here and there um and that's the plan for now and i've also let all these areas soak in the rust dissolver um and actually it rained here yesterday and uh, so far so good no water uh inside the car which is good so it's just uh, this side has been soaking in the rust dissolver and also i'm gonna wipe it off today and keep sanding it we'll see how much we have left on it um, and then also like like this area right here it's it's pretty bad i mean there's a lot of uh you know bubbles rust bubbles and stuff like that so started cleaning them cleaning them up and then whatever i didn't finish yesterday or the other day uh just uh put some grease in there so it doesn't keep rusting for now and i'm gonna probably get back to it today again i'm gonna keep sanding it so yeah, and this has been also soaking in rust dissolver some over there down there it's not rainwater it's rust dissolver it just looks like it's rainwater but it's not center console is coming out okay this is how everything looks right here without the center console so what i'm gonna do is now i can lift this guy and that's it we can actually take out this carpet a lot easier So now I came to the conclusion that actually it would be probably not possible to remove this carpet just uh, with the uh, center console in place. So whatever it is, you have to take, actually take it out. And right now, as you can see, this is like the whole carpet. So I can just take it out as one piece. This thing has never been out, guys. Never ever. I'm the first one to do it. There she is, guys. Needs a lot of cleanup. So, this is what I kind of call fading. As you can see, this is like factory right color, and this is like some kind of greenish. I don't know. This is kind of what happens over the years, huh? So I'm gonna try to find something. <laughs> 
clean everything first, obviously. But it's still at the end, I'm probably gonna wanna find a, like a fabric paint or something to make it beautiful. All right, guys, here's a look at our floors again. Okay, there's one, two, uh, three of those holes. And all right, there is uh, another mount for the seat, but uh, I'll, I'll be taking this whole um, sun ending off. Except probably from this uh, tunnel because this is fine. But yeah, other than that, there was some more right there. I was scrubbing all that. Alright guys, so on this side it's actually perfect, uh, it's just a little bit right there, surface rust, so I'm gonna clean that up and right here too, and she's good, underneath is actually really nice too, so yeah, I'm just gonna kind of focus right now on all these areas and actually this is getting cleaned up really nice. All the pitting right there that you can see, I mean the rust is pretty much out of there because I used that rust dissolver uh, and some sandpaper as well. And right there too, there used to be rusty. There's still some rust right there. So I gotta treat all that and get it all repaired. And then at the end, we're gonna, of course, paint it and protect everything, so. She's coming along, she's coming along, guys. And, uh, you know, obviously all these rust spots, that's. You know, I'm working on those as well. Um, all right, that's where your carpet attaches and your trim pieces and stuff, so. All right, guys, so I'm about to spray some uh, rust dissolver. I already cleaned this, all right, but I'm gonna help it out with the dissolver, okay? All right, guys, so there's some bolts right here that I was cleaning up. Okay, they used to be so rusty. So what I did, uh, this is really clean right now. So what I did is I was soaking them in the vinegar, okay? So as you can see, a lot of rust is coming off. And then um, I'm gonna paint them at the end. These are actually, this is like the hardware for the, the, hardware for the seats. So what I'm gonna do is just show you, okay, so there's this bracket, okay, it used to be really rusty and right now the vinegar did its job and cleaned it all up nicely and sometimes you have to actually, you know, go ahead and use some wire brush a little bit just so you can remove the rest of this rust but vinegar does like the majority of the job, it's amazing. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna clean everything up and prepare for paint, I'm gonna paint the, this hardware. What happens is uh, I put them in the vinegar when I took it out. You have to be really fast and paint them because they will corrode, like they will start rusting again like pretty quick. So you have to be really fast. You have to rinse them off and dry them up, clean them more if you need to, and then paint it. But yeah, it looks pretty good now. Just gonna paint it right now and uh, to protect it uh, furthermore. 
guys this is being painted of course these uh, kind of like brackets they're not gonna be perfect because I cleaned up the rust and there was some pitting in there but it's not a big deal okay and as you can see they're gonna be nice and looking like new and I'm gonna after painting them silver I'm gonna paint them black uh, just to put more coats on and I think black will look uh, pretty good guys so here's the current progress uh, as you can see I removed most of this um, sound deadening but it actually sucks because I was using the pick and the screwdriver uh, and it actually takes forever so what I recommend doing is uh, getting some dry ice or some kind of freezer and just like spraying it with a freeze and that thing will make it brittle and will actually like just kind of come off easily because this I was just like uh, just peeling everything like piece by piece as you can see so anyways uh, going back to this um, so I've been working on this area okay so I've been sanding this uh, grinding the rust off and uh, actually uh, then I spread the, the rust dissolver um, and I'll show you what kind of rust dissolver I used but long story short uh, if you have um, any of these old school benzes you gotta you know disassemble the interior uh, pull the seats off and uh, remove the sound ending to expose all the rust because right here there's a rust spot and you couldn't really see it because it was under the sound deadening it was literally like right here there was no rust anywhere and as I was peeling it all of a sudden there, there was rust that came up right there so you guys can see this is rust so you guys doesn't matter what kind of shape uh, your car is in whether it's very clean or rusty you have to do this okay you have to really do it is because if you don't then you will have end up like my 240d uh, it's got a lot of rust holes and stuff that I'll have to take care of so uh, but this one on the other hand is actually not too bad except the passenger side but the driver's side is actually not too bad uh, so there is uh, there's some rust under these wires uh, right there and also those two spots that I was treating so yeah other than that it's not too horrible there's actually a lot of rust uh, spots and bubbling right here uh, that I'm working on uh, as well so that's the current situation guys and uh, yeah just uh, go ahead and uh, remove everything if you have one of these cars uh, even if you have some something else like an old Volkswagen or old BMW you have to do the same thing um, and actually the water wasn't leaking on this side but it's just for, somehow it just got a rust right there it could be from underneath um, but uh, yeah it just happens guys I mean moisture gets there you know uh, and that's it starts all the process yeah, I'm gonna start cleaning all this stuff up and I'm gonna actually go ahead and clean all this stuff uh, I'm probably not gonna have time to peel all this uh, sound ending today because I have to drive to some place I have to reinstall my driver's seat, but I'm gonna actually clean everything and I'm gonna coat it paint it and all that stuff before I reinstall my seat And then I'll definitely get back to this uh, a little later because I still have to work on the rear area right there Of course, every time I start working on something, this damn rain starts raining. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, keep going, rain, keep going. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, go ahead. I'm not scared. Go for it. Yeah, good job, rain. Alright guys, so I'll show you why you need to remove carpets and sound deadening. Here's why. Okay, so this side is the worst. Usually it's like the passenger side goes bad. Um, and yeah, this will... I was cleaning all this stuff already. And putting like rust dissolver on. And there's another right there. A hole. So it will need to be addressed. And there's also another hole right there. So... I'll have to do that and take care of it guys but literally 
you guys have to go ahead and remove your carpets and everything this is a really big problem this is the problem on whatever old school mercedes you have uh, even a w124 uh, w140 can have problems like that and uh, you know as far as these this is a w126 and you also have problems in you know w123s w116s w115s w108s and so on guys so you guys need to really take care of it and uh, uh, i'm gonna also remove the sound deadening on this side uh just to expose just to check everything as far as this it's not too horrible uh you know there's this is just rust dissolver right there that's why it's wet actually the water is not leaking inside that's a really good sign so yeah but as you can see you want to peel all this stuff off and uh, yeah just check and mainly this uh, cross member rusts out so you want to check that so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to remove um, the rest of the sound and goes along the cross member on both sides just to be sure that it's all good okay all right guys so i'm getting ready to paint all this but um before you do that make sure that you clean all the pits because this as you can see it's all pitted right this metal because somebody didn't catch it on time so it's all pitted now um but as you can see it's all clean so if i try to like scrape it right here i mean there's no rust literally it's just shiny metal which is what you want of course the best thing would be to uh you know do the sand blasting but i don't have a sand blast or anything so right now i'm gonna scrape this off clean it and um, i'm gonna make sure surface is nice and clean and dry and i'll apply some paint all right so these seats seat brackets are getting painted and getting drying up right now also, I cleaned this up. It's like a third seat support, pretty much like for the seat belt. So I'm gonna about to paint that too. If it's sunny outside and it's warm, hot, whatever, I mean, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to peel this sound deadening. Um, for example, like this side right here, it's like really soft. So look at this. It's just peeling right off because it's really warm outside and sunny. But if it's cold, it's gonna be really difficult for you to peel that. So uh, you're gonna either wanna use the, you know, carefully like a heat gun or something. So that's gonna help you out. Or you can use a dry ice or some kind of freezer. Um, so you would just like uh, these, you know, there's just, you know, different kinds of ways you can do it. So like I said, I'm gonna make a separate video on that guys. So you will see it, but um, yeah, I'm just removing the rest of this and I'm about to uh, paint all these spots that I cleaned right here from all the rust. Well guys, I'm finally done removing this uh, the sound ending on this side. Uh, I'll show you in a second, but uh, long story short, I mean, it pretty much sucks. I mean, if you're just trying to, you know, peel it with, uh, you know, using a screwdriver or just a pick, it's going to take you a while. So what I recommend is either using a dry ice, a freezer the can with the freezer uh, or I'm I would recommend also like that would be like probably the cheapest route which is um, just using like a, a heat gun and just heating everything up and just peeling it so that way you're gonna be able to uh, you know peel it off a lot easier or you can just if you're from California you could probably set it somewhere in the Sun open the your doors and the Sun will heat the sound deadening and it will actually be so easy to peel it off but yeah um, the goal is to actually peel everything off um, that way you can actually see what needs to be repaired and you can expose all the rust spots because you can you don't know where exactly the rust may be hiding you know under the sound deadening that's why it's really important to remove everything and especially around this uh, uh, you know cross member for the, for the front uh, seat mounts 
so here it is guys uh, it's all pretty much removed from this side, except the rear I'm, I'm gonna worry about that later but right now uh, this is all removed and this is what I'm talking about you gotta make sure that there's sometimes there's rust right there so you want to make sure you remove everything right here where the cross member sits and there may be some rust right there under those uh, wires and stuff so you really have to check all this stuff and uh, uh, repair it uh, also let's say if you're using a pick like i was there's a lot of like scratches that i put which is not a big deal but if there's something that got like you know you went too deep you went to the bare metal you want to protect and just paint that over or just you know put something that way it's not gonna rust or anything and yeah and i'm currently working also on these guys so as you can see i was cleaning this rust and then i had to peel some more and there's some more rust exposed here so i have to take care of that as well guys but the plan for today is to uh, remove uh, all this rust, paint these areas, and then put the seat back on. Um, and that way I can drive this car at least for right now. And then later on we're going to get to that area right there. And I'm going to fi be fixing that. Alright guys, just wanted to show you some updates. Um, the hardest part is to actually get underneath this area. And clean everything so I'm cleaning some stuff here some rusty spots and right here this stuff is pretty much ready to be painted just gotta go a little bit more clean some stuff up but other than that I mean this was so pitted but when you know that you cleaned everything perfectly is when you grab the pick start scraping it and like just shiny metal is showing off instead of rusty metal so that's good same thing with this guy right here was uh, really pitted and rusty now it's good and there's some more right there so I'll be painting all this pretty soon okay guys the carpets are all cleaned up I scrubbed them pretty good you know they're not gonna be perfect and I was thinking of painting them um, but for now I'm just gonna leave them like that um, you know you can see the difference there's some fading obviously after 40 years and then there was some paint spilled right there so some imperfections not too bad but yeah i'm gonna put this back right now um and i also cleaned some other carpets as well so she's coming along all right guys so here's the deal okay this is all drying up nicely it's all actually all dry okay i painted all this area nicely uh, and I haven't gotten to the rear section yet, but I will uh, soon Okay, and then all these brackets are also painted and cleaned and protected and these mounts as well As you guys remember there was rust on it. So that's all done right now. Okay, I'm gonna get to this front section later But right now I want to put the seat back on actually I'm gonna put the carpet first and then the seat and then uh, before doing that I'll probably just put some uh, wheel bearing grease right here or something to protect it even more and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray oil inside of these holes okay all these holes
right, guys. So, just wanted to show you some progress. All right. Look at this. So, I coated everything with bearing grease, guys. Isn't that nuts? But guess what? This will never ever rust again. You know, a lot of like, clean the metal, everything from rust, um, coated everything with paint, and finally, the final coat is this, which is wheel bearing grease. And it's fine, your carpet may get stained from the un underside a little bit, but guess what? It will never rust. Look at this stuff. It's awesome. And I did put a lot inside of there as well, too. So I so have this used oil bottle. And I'm going to spray oil everywhere. There's holes. And it's nice because this thing actually sprays really nice like a, with a stream. So, And like I said, like don't worry about any of the smells. It will be fine. Your floors are going to be nice and protected. I'm gonna spray over there too. All right guys, let me show you what I did. See that stuff right there? Stuff is all lubricated everywhere underneath this cross member. All right, I just gotta, you know, wipe down excessive oil, whatever spilled but this is really good stuff guys okay that's it i don't have to worry about this ever again pretty much she's coming along she's coming along putting this carpet back right now Alright, almost ready to put the seat back. So that's how I'm rolling right now, guys. Look at this. Half of my interior is gone. <laughs> she just got washed, guys. She's so pretty. She's a pretty girl. It's beautiful tail lights. Oh yeah, those beautiful wheels. I feel like these wheels fit this car so well. Maybe I should just lower the front a little bit. But she's a sweet car, sweet, beautiful car. She's getting restored slowly but surely. I'll make this car perfect. Don't worry, babe. You know, previous owners didn't take care of you, but I will. Best car in the world.